do you remember, well, it's probably two years ago now that people were starting to talk about the bubble, the bubble, the housing bubble. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to burst. It's going to burst. It's going to be another 07, you know, like the, oh yeah, the freak out. And then that we did the big, happen. the, the reality, the right real estate there, right reality real, check, calm we everyone the big, down. The big live stream. And so, you know, the market we've said, it's not, I mean, it, it's cooled down. It's not as insane as it was Thank then. God. Uh, yep. So we're, we're stabilizing. And so uh, on Instagram, I know you love Instagram reels. Uh, a guy, a guy had a whole thing about how the number one market that's going to burst very soon is Nashville and how Nashville it's going to all this stuff. And then I went and read through the comments and they were like, are you insane? Like, have you been to Nashville and seen the, like, cause it's, it's still crazy in Nashville. Right. I mean, like there are still, there are still fewer houses. He's more the guy people. still saying that? Yes. There's a guy that, and I just saw it the other week and I was like, oh no, not Nashville. Cause we, we experience it here. And it's like, people are still flocking and still moving here. Uh, but what, but we oh, can't get you to not come. <laughs> I know. So for you and your perspective with real estate specifically, like what, what trends are you seeing out there? Cause I mean, I kind of just, I, I see Nashville and no Nashville, but overall the landscape, the, the bubble has not burst. We are still okay, but it has, it has softened, right? Some, I mean, it's not as, it's not as urgent and freaked out as it was, but overall, what are you, what well, are you seeing? I think, um, you know, I, I think we can just stop and say, I told you so, can't we? I mean, because we did like yeah. what, 18 months ago when everybody was frantic mm -hmm. because the market had slowed down and interest rates were coming up. We did a two hour long live stream. I would imagine you could still watch it and go back and watch it. And I think you'll see in that, that we predicted exactly what has happened. Now, now, we don't always get it right, but we were using data, not emotions, to actually figure out what's going on. And the data was this. There, even though the interest rates have gone up, there still is a dramatic inventory shortage in real estate in almost every city. In order for prices of anything to come down, supply-demand curves have to shift, meaning that the supply has to be much higher than the demand. But when there is the opposite, a shortage versus a glut in the market, when there's a shortage, prices go up. So if you want to cause the prices on something to go up, make it scarce. Make it, make it be a shortage. There is not a shortage of real estate. There is a, I mean, there is a shortage of real yeah, estate. Yeah. And so the, the opposite of prices tanking Everybody's, oh, it's all going to go away. It's all going to be another bright 2000. And we kept saying, no, it's not. It's not going to bust. It's not going to bust. It, we said it is going to slow, slow down. down. Yep. And we said, if you're going to sell a house, you're going to have to actually clean it up and stage it, mm -hmm. which is, you know, and you can expect Average to put it on the, the market again. You can yep. put it on the market. It's, you expect 90 to 120 days, and you can expect not to get 110% of your asking price with 87 offers on one weekend. That was an anomaly. That was a short period of time after COVID when everybody sat around in their house, got fat, and decided they wanted to move out of their house. And, and so and no one was building anything because was no materials building. are so there expensive. Was no, there was yeah. a shortage of lumber. Lumber went up 3x. It's back down. Uh, and builders are builders are not building specs right now. Yeah. They slowed down and they're adding to this shortage because the, the it's slowed down and they don't they won't get stuck with a spec house. And so spec house starts are way off, which is hurting the inventory even more. You can't find a house in a lot of markets. So you have not seen prices crash. You've seen them steadily increase. We said in the year 2023, you were going to see a 2 to a 7% increase in prices nationwide. And that is about what we're going to see. And that's the, what your home is actually valued, not the inflated price that people are throwing right. out there. Yeah. Right. Because not, people not, could put an extra half a million dollars, something insane on, you know, and people would just buy it. This is not asking price. This is actual value. That's right. That's right. Actual value. And it's not people buying like they've lost their dadgum minds. This is people, reasonable people buying properties at reasonable prices. You're going to see that number. You know, you put a house on the market for $300,000, expect to get a, a, an offer, you know, of two eighty, dollars and that you're going to negotiate. Yeah. And expect to sit there for 90 to 120 days to sell the house and expect that if your house is ugly and dirty, it's not going to sell. 
So that's not unusual. That's like 90% of the years that we've had real estate operating in America. It's been that way. We had a short period of time when it was cray cray. And we covered all of that in detail, and then it has happened exactly the way we said. Yeah. So no, whatever characters <laughs> on, whatever Instagram economist, that's like it a, was funny though. It's like first, an oxymoron. Well, I'll be honest. Not that I fall for everything I see on the internet, even though that sometimes is the case. I not everything, I, I but a, most. I, of it. I had a moment where I was like, "Oh gosh, what does he see that I'm not seeing?" I don't know. And then, you know, I'm watching it again. I'm like, that just doesn't feel right. And the funniest part is just going to the comments. Cause and people e- just ripping oh, the guy. Oh, everyone's like, I'm a real estate agent. Are you kidding me? Are like you smoking we, something? Yeah. So yeah. anyways, it was it was good. But that's what you're saying. That's just good to know. I think that it's good to it's kind just, of just get it, a pulse on. Um, and then interest rates obviously are. Yeah, they're up. They're up. And do you ever see them coming back down to that 2 3%? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what interest rates are going to do. I will tell you this. You can have a healthy, sustained Real est- residential real estate market for home buyers and 6% will just rock it for days. I mean, we've rocked it for decades at 6%. The only reason it was driven down below six yeah. was artificially by the government driving it down to re-stimulate the real estate market after 2008. But prior to mm-hmm. 2008 for uh, what, 15 years, it sat around six. Yeah. You know, when I came on the air in, uh, 1992 doing this show the rates were like nine and we were selling lots of people were selling houses everywhere nobody yep. thought anything about it yeah and then they came down to six and we thought oh this is awesome this is great because six is great when you're comparing it to nine six is not great <laughs> when you're comparing it to two and a half yep yep you know and so it's, it's all your point of reference the secret to happiness is low expectations right so <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah that the you're you're right we should have stopped and said i told you so because we no, did tell that's you not that. what i was asking no i, I <laughs> you I, will I, take this moment we, no we really that. should do that every so often because we get so much stupid hate mail by people on these uh social media channels and everything else that we don't know what we're talking about and we completely nailed that yeah i mean our team here and i and the ramsey personalities looked at the data and we said, this is what's going to happen, and we hammered it. We nailed it. And it certainly wasn't the crash of the real estate market that a lot of you were believing and predicting was going to occur 18 months ago. Just think back to 18 months ago. And that's about when we did that live stream. So mm-hmm. go look it up.